Hello, hello, good morning, afternoon. Welcome back. Congratulations on finishing your screencast. So today, let's go over the basic process of editing a video so that it's shorter and has very crisp and smooth transitions. What does your shot cut look like? You should have three things. Here is the video screen. Here are the audio bars. And right down here is the timeline. You need three things to start your editing process. So I've taken my screencast video and I dropped it into the video screen. Now I have my video here, the full video. So let's get started. So first I will take my video and I will drag and drop it into the timeline. Now look at these little hills right here, these mountains. These are the sound waveforms. These will serve as a map to where you are talking so that you know what parts to cut away so that what is left is only you speaking. Let's have a look. So when I decide to make an edit, I like to start right before I begin speaking. So right before the first mountain. You can move between the clips using the arrow keys. This will let you move very, very finely, frame by frame. Then I push S. S means split. It lets you split the clip, so that way I can delete, push the delete button to eliminate that point where I'm not speaking, and then right-click and delete. This will keep only the speaking parts. All right, good morning, afternoon, welcome. So I listen to the clip to make sure that this is the speaking part I want to keep. Learning. What is it? So then I hit the space bar to pause at the last mountain. And then by clicking over the timeline and using the arrow keys, I find the next point to split. It's really good to split where the audio bars are as low as possible. You want to split when the audio bars are as low as possible. This means that when the clips intersect with each other, there won't be any surprising jumps in audio. It will sound very smooth. So again, S, delete, right click, remove. Now, what is it? Well, according to Home 2015, then I click back onto the previous clip and I play to make sure that the transition sounds smooth. And then I continue and repeat. Flipping the classroom is a pedagogical method to blended learning in which the typical activities of classroom lectures followed by homework, this is more traditional. As thumb over arrow key, arrow key, delete, and remove. More traditional is in the reverse order and is often supplemented or integrated with instructional videos. Once again, I split, I go over to the end, and I just delete this quiet part, and I listen to the transition. What this means more simply is so that far, so good. in a typical classroom, a teacher will give a lecture, and students will listen and take notes. It's up to you how small of pauses are worth removing, but I like to remove as many as possible because I think it makes for a more engaging Take listening notes. experience. Outside of class, students have the responsibility of completing a homework assignment where they apply 
the lessons and the concept of the in-class instruction. Okay, I reach the end of the mountain. What button do I hit? Yeah, S, good. Arrow keys, S, click, delete, remove. So repeat this until you reach the end of your screencast. See you in class very soon. Until then, cheers. Final clip, split, and delete. Okay, I've finished all of my edits. I have deleted all of the quiet portions. I've deleted all of my mistakes. Look at the audio levels here. I stopped my video right at about the mountaintop, the peak, and I checked where the audio is. Now, minus 20 to minus 25. This is a little bit quiet. The best kinds of audio, the most smooth sound that will sound the best on a headphones, I think will be between minus 5 and minus 10. So I need to raise the audio level of the video. Let's find out. You have to use a function called filters. If you cannot see this filters tab, go over here to view, filters, and turn it on. It can also be control six. Next, I click on master. This means it will change the audio for the entire video. If you want to put a filter on that applies to every single clip in the whole video, click on master. Then I click on plus, go to audio. There's many different filters that you can use to change your video to add effects. And if you're interested in adding any different effects, please let me know during class. But in this case, I want to use one called game volume. Click on it, double click. Now I can use this slider right here to raise the volume of my video. Check it out. See how the audio level goes up here when I drag this slider to the right? It raises the overall volume of the whole video. All right, good morning, afternoon. Welcome. And now the audio is a lot louder and much easier to hear. To lesson one, where we will discuss the concept of flipped learning. Another filter that you might want to use is a text filter. Is that in a typical classroom, a teacher will first use the S button to choose a clip that you want to create the text and click on the clip on your timeline. Add video. These are all of the video filters here. There's many choices. Let me know if there's any video effects you would be interested in in your video. And I'll find one called text simple. And in here, I can write down any words that I want to appear on the video. Good. Now, you can choose the colors of the font, the outline of the letters, and the background. I'll change the background. That way, it's easier for the viewer to see. You can change the size of the text by changing the size of the box, similar to on a PowerPoint. You can change the location of the box by clicking and holding in the middle bar here and dragging it around. A teacher will give a lecture, and students will listen and take notes outside of class. So that filter applies only for this clip. So that way I can figure out exactly what points I want the text to appear. Now maybe I want to copy this text but on a different clip. So if I want to copy this text and put it the same way onto a different part of the video, I will click over here. This is the copy filters function. Copy, then click on the clip that you want to drop it in and hit the clipboard. This will paste all of the copied filters onto your new clip. Boom. And take notes. Outside of class, 
students have the responsibility of completing a homework assignment where they apply the lessons and the concept of the in-class instruction. However, in a flipped classroom, okay, so you've edited all of your clips, you've added any text, you've changed the audio, the length is good, it's only about five minutes long, this should be a good video. It's time to export. This will take all of the different edited clips on your timeline and turn it into one single video file. Click over here, export file. Choose a location. I'll put this on the desktop and give it a name. This is called flipped lecture. And check this file type, MP4, that's good. And save. Now you'll see up here in the top right, it will tell you the progress. It's taking a little bit of time. Usually these videos can take about five to ten minutes to render and export. So it's the, the time is loading. Once this reaches 100%, your video is finished. So I hope you found this editing tutorial helpful. Please let me know what questions you have. What questions do you have about the editing process? What other kinds of effects do you want to put into your video? I look forward to hearing from you next class. And until then, cheers.